Welcome back to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, so this time around we're going to talk about how to do a firmware download to an existing stack. So we want to download or, or upgrade the, uh, the software revision on all the members of the stack uh, with a single command. So pop over to our, our config here. Let's have a look at the stack first of all. Show stack. So we have three units in our stack, right? We have a uh, unit one, two, three, which is the active controller, standby controller, and a member, uh, 224 ports and a 48 port, 7250. Um, we can see that it's a closed loop stack, right? So everything is connected in a closed loop and it's up and operational. Uh, now, from a firmware perspective, um, if we do a show flash, what we have is all three units are running 8030H in the primary, it's router code. Um, and just to be sure, if we do a show version, it tells us that yes, it's running SPR 8030H, so it's booted from the primary flash for all three units. So what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade those guys from a USB drive. Um, so we'll do show files disk zero to see the uh, USB files. And uh, what we're going to upgrade them to is the SPR 08040A.bin, so the, the 8040A router code. Um, so all we need to do, just as you normally would, it's a uh, copy disk zero from the USB to flash um, the name of the code, so SPR 08040A.bin. Uh, and then under options here, we're going to go primary. Right, and um, so all that's going to do is it's going to uh, right. So so here we say it's downloading to the primary uh, to the primary flash SPR 8040a.bin, and then it's automatically going to copy that to all the members of the flash. So we could have done the local. Right, so we could have done a local primary or a local secondary and just download that into the device that we're connected to. But but really, you want to download, you want the entire stack to be running the same uh, rev of code, right? So then, once that's completed, it takes a few minutes to download that uh, code onto all of the units because it does it all in one. Um, and then once that's done, it's not going to do a reload until you do that. So you can, if you just do a reload, it'll reload the entire stack, or you can have it reload a particular unit number, but you don't want that to happen. You won't, don't want different stack members to be running different uh, firmware images. You want the entire stack to be running the same code. So uh, all you got to do is wait for this to finish, it takes two or three minutes, then just do a reload and it will reload your entire stack to make that active. But you don't have to. I mean, you could download the code and leave it there, you know, in the primary flash. And then in the event that there was a power outage at some point, or you you could schedule a reload for a later point in time, you know, when you have a maintenance window. Uh, but anyway, that's it for today. And uh, thanks for joining.